Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Cyberpunk video. In this video, we're going to be discussing a little guide on what I know so far and learned so far in regards on how to get the legendary quick hacks. As you can see, I have a few of them and some more information about the quick hacks in general. Uh, later on, I'll do also some more in-depth uh, videos in regards to these uh, legendary hacks, like make a top six of my favorite ones, etc. But I gotta tell you, these things are hell of a OP things. <laughs> if you're a hacker, man, you gotta put your claws on that. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so so far I've been playing, I'm level 24, and uh, the only way that I've found how to get these legendary hacks is that you'll need to craft them. But there's also a couple of things you should know before you start spending your points in. So basically, as you can, let's take this one for as an example. Uh, you can see the needed, the needed components in order to create the legendary version. So f in order to make legendary, you will need an epic version, which you can find over here. So I can actually create an, ep uh, an epic version, but first I will need the uh, blue version, which I cannot make. And the reason why I cannot make that is because I haven't invested my uh, points into creating the rare options, and I'll tell you why. Uh, well, first of all, I don't see the reason in doing so, as you're going to be wasting the perk point, right? Uh, because there are netrunners who are selling uh, from the lowest till the rare variety. So, for example, this netrunner right here, uh, who is located in uh, Pacifica, in this specific location right here, right? So, um, by the way, there are some uh, quick hacks that you can buy. I'll show you them just in a sec. Uh, so, if you come and speak to her, you will see the quick hacks that she owns. So you can buy these and upgrade them. So as you can see, I can buy this one right now and make my upgrades. But I'm looking forward to buy something else if I can. If I can't, that's not going to be very nice. Because I really want uh, the blinding one and see the rare one. So the blue one. But she doesn't sell it. And... I have a feeling that I'm going to have to waste a perk point in order to make rare ones as well. Because there are three netrunners uh, worldwide, right? And, uh, yeah, let's go check another one because I believe I might have missed it there. But uh, I've been checking their, like, sales for the past few days. Like, for the past day, because I got these legendary yesterday. And they are OP. So the next netrunner is located right here. Uh, where are you? I forgot. Ah, oh, there she is. Right here. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna use the fast travel point in order to get there. Let's see what she saw. Or he. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. That's the second best uh, netrunner that sells the rare types. And he doesn't sl sell that blind thing. Damn it, I'm gonna have to waste a perk point. Because that blind thing really is really good. And looks like I'm going to have to waste a perk point in order to get it. Man. But still, this is what uh, he is selling, right? And the final Netrunner is the one that was introduced to us uh, through the main story, right? And its location is right here. At the Kabuki, Kabuki Market. So, I highly think that uh, their things, what they're selling, they do not reset or scale to your level because they should have already scaled to my level. Like for instance, I'm level 25. If we go, for example, to that very first Netrunner, I can 100% guarantee you, assure you that uh, that Netrunner isn't going to sell me any rare items whatsoever. I'm like 100% sure. So let's go check it out. So here's the netrunner that we're going to we're going to be introduced by playing the main story, right? So if you speak with her, you can see she's got only the uncommon ones, all of them. So I do not believe that they will be selling any better vari uh, like uh versions better depending on your level. Uh because I think that this was has, has been done intentionally in order like for actually hackers hacker builds to benefit from these really cool uh, 
hacks. So if you're not investing into your uh, intelligence, you will not get access to the hacks. So the thing is, uh, like for example, as an example, uh, I'd like to bring to you the suicide hack, which gets unlocked only at the epic version. So you can buy the blue one. You see, it's not uh, requesting like the brew version. So the suicide version gets unlocked as soon as you uh, get in your skill line from your character in the intelligence at the quick hack and you will need this hack overload uh, unlocks crafting specs for epic quick hack, uh, hacks so in order for me to build my blind thinky I will need to spend a point here <laughs> which kinda sucks but anyway uh, the other thing is that it's actually really 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 nice is that you can um, for instance let's do an upgrade and look at how much XP you're getting when you're crafting these things so boom that's 600 XP just to make this one and if you if you convert it into a legendary it's a thousand two hundred it's crazy so yeah uh, what do you want hey B, you hear me loud and clear you don't need to yell what's up Competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. <laughs> yeah, that it makes sense. Well, you in? Sure. Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. Great. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's get back to the show, shall we? The prices for these things aren't the best. Uh, but why am I actually showing you this? Because I feel like uh, these components that we're using in, in order to make the quick hacks, right? Uh, where are they? I just got a whole bunch of stuff here. These ones, for example. These are the, yeah? Yeah, it's one of the version, right? You can sell them for $8 or eddies whatever per so you can do the maths that's a lot of uh, materials I mean a lot of eddies besides the higher option of these things the higher the price right so this is not a f like not related to this video but I'm gonna go and dive into a little bit more details a little bit later on as soon as I figure out if you will need these quick hat components in order to m do something else because I'm right now working on my uh, crafting guide I mean on my crafting skills once I max it out I'll see if these are not needed basically my point is if you need these components only to make quick hacks the legendary ones and there aren't a lot of them meaning that these things become pretty much your additional source of a lot of money that you can make a lot of eddies so the way you earn these components is by uh, access, access points those little things that you hack into and you do the puzzle and essentially uh, you get the, uh, the eddies and you get the components so what I would recommend doing and getting like number one thing is at the breach protocol get yourself extended network and it will highlight those in red on your map and you can jack into it uh, then advance data mine to get more uh, euro dollars out of the access point and there are other more cool uh, perks that can also upgrade that but I'm gonna make a de more detailed guide in in regards to this topic a little bit later on so at the moment let me show you all the quick hacks all the legendary quick hacks that I have access to and I believe everybody will have the same access to the same thing and uh, basically later on once I'll test them out I'll make uh, some other videos or if you have any questions in regards to this drop them down in the comments below and I'll try to prepare a good video in order to answer the most of most of the questions so uh, this one right here non-lethal deals low damage that applies poison to the targets spread to targets to two targets within eight meters radius effective against okay this is this is a spread one I haven't invested into my spreading capability so I'm not using these types but if you combine it with uh, for instance the cool option and I believe that's stealth I think no poison yeah there you go poison here's the duration of poison applied to enemies by five seconds if you can do some crazy combinations man your hacking is just 
I'm definitely gonna give it a try. That's what the first thing that came up in, into my head when I when I saw that uh, legendary hack. I'm like, damn! If you can put them together and just blast that thing, or make uh, disable their movement speed, that's what we've uh, built. Uh, where is that hack? Uh, where the hell is it? Weird. Um, not quite catching what's going on. Where's that trap that we just upgraded? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. If I, for instance, oh no, there we go. I have the trap. This trap I was talking about. Weird that I can't craft it again. But anyway, disable move and also spreads around. It's weird that it's not showing all of them. It's probably because I have some of them. Okay, right, so let's go through these ones. Uh, cyber. Cyber psychosis uh, includes a cyber psychosis like state of target causing them to attack both enemies and allies. Uh, I tried this one and for some reason it doesn't work. I mean, next to the enemies it should trigger and they should fight, but it, it, instead he just dies for some reason. Uh, sets status of drones, mechs, and robots friendly, making them turn against their enemies. That I haven't tried. I haven't tried this one on the robots yet. Uh, if no other allies are near uh, nearby, the target will commit suicide. That's what they do all the time. Even though I tried to group them up, but uh, the, the thing just dies. We can actually do a quick uh, combat run with the set of uh, some legendary hacks that I have access to and I know how to use. Uh, applies uh, burn to target, dealing high damage over time. This is freaking perfecto. It burns the enemies like hell. So basically just put one of these things on some cockroach and forget about him. He's gonna die. <laughs> Unless if he's not too high level. Like a skeleton sign. But if the threat is uh, medium or high, then he will die. If it's like death, he will not die. Then we got... Uh, this one is actually freaking off the hook. I tested it out today when I was recording a Let's Play. I was shocked. I couldn't understand what's going on. So basically, this pings all the enemies. With the with the small, smallest version, it's not working. But this highlights pretty much everything. It highlights all the devices, all the enemies, and makes them glow through the walls. And you can apply hacks through the walls onto the target. So this thing is just mind-blowing. <laughs> Uh, this is what I want to get because this the I have the uncommon one and it's been saving my life. It's like you pretty much blind a guy and you can do whatever you want, uh, unless if he's ha carrying a weapon he starts shooting left and right. On very hard difficulty that is also a little bit deadly because two bullets and you're out. Uh, I like playing on very hard difficulty so I know the feeling. Okay, <laughs> uh, so but the good thing about this one is why I want to upgrade it because it can spread to other enemies within uh, within eight meters. Greatly increases the effect of duration, have them being blind for a lot longer time, which is, I'm like, I just want it. And passive equip, unlock, optic, jammer, demon, fuse, and protocol breach. I uh, still need to figure out how what, what that works. Uh, short circuit, blows up everything. It, it's super deadly. I love it. Uh, sonic shock, oh, I haven't tried that one. Defens, uh Defends the target, uh, reducing their ability to detect you in sounds. Prevents the target from communication with allies about your activity. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't. See, well, nah. Eh, I want to say, I love this one. The suicide one is the best, but it does take a lot of RAM. But basically, if you do play it around all together, you can use that with way less. If you have like perks that reduce RAM per specific action you did within the same network. So basically, what he does, while the timer runs out, he takes the gun and shoots his head out or if he doesn't have a gun he has a knife he <laughs> it's a pretty fun one man you know hacking hacking builds are like troll builds i'm telling you then we got system reset uh cripples the target nervous system causing them to lose consciousness uh target will not make any noise when uh, losing consciousness passive defeating an enemy reduces the ram cost of the next quick hack by one which is pretty cool stacks up to six times uh, then we got the pistol, that's you can jam the pistol, uh, cause the weapon to malfunction, spreads to the nearest enemy, causes the target weapon to explode, causing damage. If you collaborate with the grenade one, I'm pretty sure you can do some pretty crazy stuff. Like a pack of that you put on one for the grenade to auto explode and the other one for the weapon to auto explode. Mass damage, everybody dies. So, I mean, 
I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get more videos in, on this topic uh, like, as soon as I can. I just really, really wanted to share this. So let's go back and go back to my inventory and take a look at the other ha quick hacks. I'm I'm not quite sure what I couldn't build this one again. Uh, but as I said, this one disables the targets from moving, uh, spreads to the nearest uh, within eight meters, uh, affect enemies also unable to attack, and pass. Oh, this is gonna be actually better than the sleep one, by the way. If that is true. Affected enemies are also unable to attack. Bro. You see, I still need to do a little bit more research on these hacks before I do anything. That is freaking crazy. Crowd control. Okay. <clears throat> so, we got the grenade one. That's the one, like, kind of similar to the weapon thing. But the grenade makes, uh, if they got a lethal grenade, uh, they kind of, like, click and blow up. Uh, we actually, if you've started the game and you were offered to do a tutorial, you get to try that one out. And I was like, whoa! But then I was like, man, where is it? <laughs> and now I found it. Yeah. So it forces the target to detonate a grenade in their hands. Uh, the type of explosion is affected based on the target's grenade type. Uh, passive. Defeating an enemy with any explosion reduces the RAM cost of the next ultimate hack by two. Can stack up four times. So if you, do, if you play your cards right, you can make all of these cost pretty much very little and plus breaching protocols your perks is just you can spam these things all you want uh, this one is pretty cool but yeah, the target needs to uh, already be injured and I used to love it now I don't not that much because the more injured the higher damage basically uh, deals moderate damage that scales higher based on how much health the target is missing. Less effective against drones, mechs, and robots. Uh, if the target is defeated by this quick hack, they burn out into flames, causing enemies within 6 meter radius to a panic. Well, panic, I don't want them to panic. I want them to group up so I can do something, some magic. And passive, defeating an enemy with any quick attack causes nearby enemies to panic. Again, panic. Let's just see this. Not the best. Uh, so the overheat this one I was talking about basically one of my favorites you put it the guy just burns out uh, short circuit suicide uh, system reset oh I'm an idiot man you see I took the wrong one I, this is sonic shock I oh, know wait no I was no man man this game is sometimes confusing as hell Okay, well, that's pretty much it. As I said, I'm gonna redo uh, a more detailed guide once I get to play around with these quick hacks a, a little bit more, but this is more of some basic information on how to get the legendary hacks and uh, some additional info. And now, let me quickly show you how they perform in action. Let me just find something, maybe like a high, not very high, very high. I can kill very high, but uh, they still kind of do a a decent chunk of damage but if you're like facing those guys without uh you know anything oh shoot yeah. boom actually let, let me go and show you how it operates on very high uh enemies all right so i'm uh I'm in position basically what you should know if the enemy is very high or above your level uh the thing that happens is it will require more ram Oh, damn it. Bridge protocol. How the hell you spot me that fast? I should have sneaked. Idiot. Boom. By the way, these are demons that I'm including. And you can see reduce hat cost by 3 units and then reduce the enemy resistance as well. Ooh, he's swinging that. He's swinging. He is swinging. I need to wait until the protocol applies. And that guy, he's also fists, or he can shoot. Because if one of these guys shoot me, that's it. That's the end. On, on because I, as I said, I'm playing on very hard difficulty, and if the strong guys shoot, it's pretty much the end. All right, so almost done. Come on, breach. Breach the breach. Short circuit. If you have the correct cards, uh, perks uh, enabled, you can also apply your critical damage. So if the critical will get applied, this guy should take a lot of damage. 
boom. But Ooh, no critical, but as you can see, look at that, the amount of damage done. Crazy. Now we can make him burn. And these are very hard. And if you sneak, with sneak, you can do even more decent damage. I gotta retreat. By the way, what the hell am I carrying? Where's my shotgun? Why does shotgun got a pistol? And there you go, and finish him off. Stop, you cuntly, maggot! So you can see, if you play your cards good, you can even kill like extremely hard enemies with no problem, make them burn. And I haven't even done the suicide one, but the suicide one, ex uh, like, it takes a lot of. Uh, ram to use it because these guys are very hard difficulty right but if we go like for in for example to a less dangerous location uh let me go get to it and i'll show you the difference all right so now we arrived to a location where it's moderate dif danger right so these guys pretty much scale to my level basically they're over there i hope i'll make it let me just save so i don't By the way, if you wonder how the hell did I jump that high, well, that is cyberware and fortified ankles. <laughs> Alright, so there should be at least four targets in this area. Oh, and by the way, you see that red thing on my map right now? That's the access point I was talking about. So we're lucky that we came here. I'll show you in action how you got to do it. Hack into this thing. So breach protocol. By the way, you can see one of my lines are already installed um, uh, on its own as well. That's also one of the perks. Um, but man, this video is going to turn out to be super long. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now it's applying to everybody else, and now they're a lot weaker. So, look at that. Only one ram. Boom. He's dead. Make this guy, I don't know, go psychosis. Come on out. Make this guy, I don't know, shoot himself. Hey, why can't I do that? Weird. Shoot yourself. Overheat. Oh, I click jump by mistake. I hate when I do that. And look at that. Fish. Boom, suicide. <laughs> and boom. And I believe they're all dead. Super crazy OP, man. You pick up the loot. Complete the quest. Alright, let me show you the access point. There you go. This is the access points. And they bring a lot of, a lot of eddies. And those components. And if I'm right, and those components are only needed to create the legendary quick hacks. Meaning, later on, they will be of no use in order to make them. Because you already have them. You sell them. And you saw the prices yourself. A ridiculous amount of money all right so one already got automatically filled in and let's begin and since I already have it filled in I can't access and uh, get back in because if I do I get only a reward so that's a negative side for this one because I usually want to see the best outcomes but not in our case today so boom 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 we'll get the first line oh shoot I don't think I'll manage to get the other line E9 Crap If you're gonna give me something else, I'm screwed Damn! Failed Oh well Not my day today So you see, you get the quick ha uh, hacks components And I didn't show how much money I got, what the hell? That is so dumb But anyway those are the access points and those things bring me money and sometimes when I go oh there you go wait what the hell 3.6 thousand excuse me that's like I usually get around two to like a thousand two hundred two thousand was the maximum I got maybe I picked up and it calculated with these what I'm just doing when I was collecting just now maybe that, that, that's a pretty high number. <laughs> I never got those before. But anyway, you get the point, right? And uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. 
yeah, all other uh, perks, I'm going to talk about them a little bit later. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them down in the video and I'll try to collab the video and make a good informative video in regards to the hacks. So, uh, this is pretty much it. That's where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So, if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment. Just don't swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Client. I'm Gamer Z-Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. Feel free to join our Discord. The link is down in the video description along with any other links that you may find of use. Uh, mainly we're a Fallout 76 channel with most of the chats, but we also have a Cyberpunk uh, chats chat so far available because this is a single player game, but we still talk there about it or in some uh, general chat. Uh, read the rules, go to get started, select the rules so you see the, the chats that you need. But read the rules. You will get banned if you don't follow the rules. And that's pretty much it. So once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good one, day and night. Whatever you guys like it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are the